here are a bunch of geotherms, so I imagine we'll have some pretty delayed starts this time. Is there anything else you're seeing on this one? Uh, the colony, it's consuming lots of glass and we don't have a lot of silicone, and the silicone is so far away. That could be an important detail. There is there is this small patch of like three silicon near the iron. But there is uh, a much oh, larger yeah. or a bit more substantial patch, the four silicon over in that aluminum over there. So mm. that silicon, you're right, might end up being very important. And yeah, silicon delayed founds found this it. game. Baby is gonna take it with an extra quite a bit of cash on hand from that. I think it was the first aluminium. Yeah, he is going to get... Did he get alu aluminum? Oh, yeah, he got to the aluminum buy first. You are absolutely correct about that. But Blue's going robotic. He doesn't need as much. And I kind of like this robotic decision out of Blue's in some ways, because like you said earlier, the colony is consuming glass. That's going to, like, maybe drive that price up a little bit, just make it a little bit harder to upgrade, and Blue's is going to just cleanly sidestep that problem by consuming electronics instead. Yeah, and he can now abuse glass as well by just putting all his spare cash in it. Absolutely. And that's definitely a move we'll be looking to see out of Blues this game, hopefully. Vavy's scared of getting power surge like last game. He is going to split his steel mills into uh, groups of two and two. Still going to be producing quite a bit of steel off of that. I believe about three a second is what we're going to have. Oh, this is interesting. There's like two aluminium mines. Well, it looks like we've got one aluminum mine and one water pump coming out for blues. Oh, never mind. Just making sure to secure the nice, you know, tile that could be either. That's all. Which is something you always like to see. Blue is also going to be splitting his the steel mills. He is going to be sticking on right. three of them instead of four. Baby has picked up oh. yep, that EMP. Right onto the iron. Not too surprising to see. Baby's also just constantly selling steel at this point and going to go ahead and buy into glass. Trying to make sure he gets that cash first. Oh, and that's, oh. <laughs> that's, this is interesting. This metal mine out of blues down here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's, cla that's clever. Alright, you guys. You killed Steel. Congratulations. It's dead. Well, Faithy is still going to have to buy tons of it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's... When HQ level 3 hits, that will, that's probably when we'll see things starting to even out a little bit. But Steel hanging out in that, like, $4 range for Vavy's buildings right now. It'll be interesting to see who manages to respond to this best when it comes to the sheer amount of power consumption going on in this game. Oh, Baby's got that black market back, but he would rather upgrade. Okay. Understandable decision. Just going to move into quite a bit of water for himself. Only one claim left at this point after taking that geotherm. I'm really curious what he's going to do with it. He gets the geotherm down, which I like. Oh, and goes for another geotherm. Colony expanded. Mm. I think that's okay in some... I mean, steel is just so cheap this game, right? They're making such a massive amount of it. And geotherms are so cheap for expansive players. Yeah. Looks like Blues is wanting to control the situation by preventing Fafi from profiting in cash from the power. Well, Blues so far, what has he got down? He has taken the geotherm for himself. He is moving into some silicon. Just one claim left, though. And I'm not sure what he's going to do with it. This silicon quarry. I don't know what the point of this is entirely right now. It does secure the closed silicon, but it was a definitely misplaced in my mind. Like, absolutely. Yeah. This is one of those small details that can actually like make or break your game long term. Is when you're taking one of these silicon tiles, yes, this one is half an inch closer to your colony, and that's great. But the middle one offers further adjacency bonuses later and cuts off your opponent from those adjacency bonuses. Just two birds right by yeah. taking that middle one. So absolutely a big mistake out of blues, I think, with the placement of that silicon quarry. Well, you could still mess with that by getting the other two quarries around it. Yeah. 12,000, 16,000, 
Extra claim. Well, we know who's willing to spend more on auctions at this point, right? Yeah. It's not Vavy. Yeah, it's not Vavy. That extra claim could help Blues out quite a bit. Gives him better access maybe to another Geotherm. He's st still sitting on it at this point. He hasn't decided what to do with it. Mm. Could put down just a farm or two if he wanted to at this point. He is going to throw down a farm actually on his old iron mine location. He could just add another farm to that, fr quite frankly. I am I also going to want to see that geotherm quickly out of blues, though. He's taking the tile. I want to see him get to the building before the upgrade happens. For Vavy, that's my big concern. Now, you have to notice what Glass is doing. Oh, yeah. Glass up at almost $200 right now. That's just insane. There's only one one player on the map consuming it, but that colony... It's enjoying itself, it seems. The expected EMP comes out. Yeah, it's obligatory. Yeah, you have to do it, period. Oh. Which I know is what you just said, but maybe some people don't know that word. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. What do you think of your audience? Look, there's like there's gonna be there's gonna be a kid out there, and he's gonna be like twelve. He's gonna be like, man, I haven't done my vocab lesson for the day. I haven't learned what obligatory means yet, and we've got to help him out. That's all. Oh, he refunded his uh, geo claim. He did take the geo claim back, which means he's still sitting on just one claim. <laughs> So I'm not sure what he's planning to do with it. Power did drop off a fair ways, to be fair. And on top of that, he transitioned out of his steel mills. So maybe he felt that he didn't need so much power at this stage of the game. I do find it interesting that he's producing glass, though. It's quite profitable. But it'll let his opponent upgrade a bit better. On the other hand, other thing to consider... Oh, good, Blues. You got that silicon claim right before Vavy upgraded. Oh. It's going to go nuts. <laughs> Vavy would also start making money from glass very, very soon. So maybe it's not so much of a concern that you're going to be knocking that price down because it was going to be coming down anyways. Uh, and Vavy is not going to have silicon for a long time. If Lewis notices it, he could attack the glass front just by just spiking silicon. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of hope to see something like that. Blues does have quite a bit of cash just sitting around right now. He may decide to simply upgrade with it, though. He's very, very close to being able to do that. I like this decision from Blues. Just hand it to Vavy for 12000 It cuts off $12,000 from Vavy is the big deal, because he was in no debt whatsoever, with plenty coming in based off this food and power production. All right, well... Blue's got to that upgrade. Still EMPs available to hit some steel and geotherm. I kind of would have liked to see that out of Blue's at some point. A little bit better than hitting even the food right now, based on just where prices are at at this moment. Blue's is instead just going to throw down a bunch of his own steel. I can get behind that. Oh. I would have preferred to attack the silicon quarries. Yeah, absolutely. Go after the silicon, make sure he can't ship it. Just buy it up yourself. See, he's even buying silicon right now, is blues. This but is of course, strange. Baby's got some coming in. It's just like, it's not quite all the pieces coming together. It's like decent elements from two different plans right now. I gotta say, though, look how much money blues is making just from four to five, like that. Yeah, rushing to the HQ level five. Seemed pretty comfortable doing it. I mean,. It is something that's pretty easy to do when all you have to do on HQ level 4 is like literally throw down steel mills. And you're set. Dry ice condensers. Alright. I like that. The carbon's not great. But the oxygen is. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I am wondering, I am suppose those probably were better than the electrolysis reactors, just given the water situation right now. But yes. I'm kind of curious to see what these are going to be worth for Vavy when they pop up. Because I do of course, have to notice the power consumption from those. 
Yeah, there is. I mean, Blues is just chewing through power at this point. He is going to need to consider what he can do about that very, very, very soon. He is building a solar panel. My concern is there's not really a big silicon surplus happening right now. Just a very, very, very small one across the board. So it's going to be difficult for Blues to get into solar panels. He's kind of locked himself away from wind turbines and geotherms. Oh, well, as I say that. <laughs> I'm curious what Blues would be willing to go for this. Because he, he needs more power. Absolutely needs it. Still consuming 1.8 too much. Although it looks like he's already decided to transition into an additional solar panel, so maybe he doesn't care so much about the geotherm. Uh, I'm wondering if Blues is slowly bidding this because he's really reluctant or just trying to get it cheap, but it doesn't look like that. Yeah, I mean 16,000, I think that was probably a reasonable place to let that go since he had already decided on the solar panel transition. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind that decision at all. And the solar flare is coming in. Yeah, which is very nice to see for Blues in a lot of ways. Power's not that big of a deal. Only $79, $80 in a moment here, but always nice to get every little bit you can. Now you do have to notice that both players are stockpiling the black market. Yeah, Blue's sitting on Goon Squad Mutiny and Hologram, whereas Vavy on that EMP and Mutiny. Everybody knows they're going to want to fight about this hacker array. It's basically what it comes down to. Yeah, I think they're more worrying about off-world. This is... Well, that's, that's gonna matter too, line. yes. But... This is an interesting decision out of AV, going for an oxygen shortage. Mm. I... Okay, and he just cancels it, changes it up into food, it looks like, and then cancels it again. Baby just cannot decide what to do with this thing. He settles on chemicals, I think. That was the correct decision. Just something that his opponent was not in. Blues, meanwhile, he's got that hologram down and is moving into a hacker array of his own. Now, you have to find a way to put the hologram down without being obvious about it. Yeah, although in this particular case, he's got two going at the same time. And it's nice to not be obvious about the hologram, but... And you see here, he's like adding a glass furnace at the same time as he's adding this market. But sometimes it's just not, it's just not that straightforward to not be obvious about the hologram, yeah, right? So instead, Blues is just dropping right. two of them and saying, figure it out. <laughs> well, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Kim Lab's coming down for Vavy. Which he is shorting chemicals right now, so that Our could be enough pressure to let the chem labs operate for a fair amount of time. Effectively, Vavy is in an awkward spot where some of his stuff isn't producing right now because he doesn't have cash. Some of his stuff is not making a profit. Also, a little bit awkward. Caught Blues attempting to mutiny. Well, that's another mutiny in Vavy's pocket then. Still, if he doesn't know where the offworld world is, he's probably never going to find out. Exactly. 16. Oh man, and Blue's wanting to cut off this chem transition the moment that he can. Chemical surplus coming out in about 22 seconds. That's interesting to see. And that oxygen price, well, they killed it on world, so Blue's is just going to take it off. I definitely can appreciate that. So. It feels like Blues is in just an absolutely commanding position at this point. Baby is yes. expansive, so he has a few more claims, but not that many more. Blues has been picking them up here and there throughout the game. And of course, that off-world market has a really strong launch with that oxygen. Ooh, and the sharp plus hits and Baby, okay, finally notices. Good. Always an important thing to spot when your resource is suddenly not going to be worth very much. Oh, and Blues and Baby both just choosing to defend themselves. Alright. Yep. I'm a little nervous for Blues about playing the long game because 
as we mentioned, he is up against an expansive player. And usually I would give the advantage to the expansive player the longer the game goes. Just having more tiles is always better than having fewer tiles. But since he is up that off-world market, I imagine he'll be able to pull it off this game. Yeah, the on-world market is not going anywhere, it's not very profitable, and maybe it's still not in an off-world market. Absolutely, and on top of that, Baby doesn't seem to have found the off-world market at this point. He just doesn't know. He may know it's there, but he hasn't figured out where yet. He hasn't done anything to get aggressive against it. He's still sitting on those two mutinies, an EMP and a hologram. So I'm a little bit nervous for Vavy at this stage, if he's going to manage to do anything to pull it back. There you go, Blue, selling out of his own stock to make sure he gets that cash to take down Vavy if he can. Oxygen launch in just a moment here. That does give him enough money, but does he have the time before Vavy gets his own? I think he's going to pull it off. Yeah. That's quick. Yep. That was good. It was a nice little clean ending to that game. That's why in sometimes I don't like players fully defending themselves when they're kind of thinking about that defense. Like if Blues had just bought that two stock rather than the full four to defend himself, then he might have been in a bit better position to identify exactly where that game was going. On the other hand, buying your own stock can be a nice way to kind of hide from the other player I am looking to just come and kill you. Mm. I, I don't know what he was doing. Okay. Or trying to do intentionally. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do intentionally. It's just something to consider, you know. You never know exactly what's going through these players' minds. And we can ask him in the lobby soon. Absolutely. All right. Well, it was well played by Blues. Vavy just kind of felt like he got stuck on HQ level 3 and HQ level 4 for a real long time, especially HQ level 4. Like, Blues just got to 4 and then got to 5 and then Baby was just stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck yeah, and couldn't find anything to do. To crash. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like that glass really did get in Baby's way this game. Yeah, it's, it's Blues who profited from it a lot. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And Baby who he just had it sit there as a roadblock to his upgrades, so... That was nice to see. Nice to see the robotic colony coming down this game.